Hey YouTube people, welcome to the Sea Butters channel. Today we have another review of a Compro technology camera. This time we're looking at the TN80W. Uh, this particular model is kind of your basic uh, model, although it does have a higher resolution than with the one we previously looked at. Before we looked at the TN600W, uh, which is a PTZ camera, which means it pivots and turns. This is kind of like a set it and forget it type camera. Um, a little bit cheaper because it doesn't have all the motors to turn. Um, but this is actually higher resolution um, and supposedly has some more advanced features than uh, what we saw with the other one in terms of software and capability. So um, we're going to go ahead and plug this in and see how it compares. Um, but first we're going to do a brief overview of the unit. So I have it right here. It's actually a really nice looking little camera. Um, it's a really neat looking little camera, um, very thin, um, mountable, it can be oriented in any direction, I'll kind of show you that, you kind of uh, adjust this knob and then it has a swivel ball that lets you point that in any direction or spin it, it's uh, really versatile, uh, it could be mounted in virtually any direction, uh, then you twist it back down to tighten it. So we're looking at this camera. It's uh, 720p H.264 compression. Uh, if we look on the back here, you have a QR code for easy installation, um, a power supply input, and a network plug in port. Um, this model uh, would be considered the TN80, but it's the TN80W with the addition of this unit that Compro supplies that plugs right up in the top in the USB port. So I'll just plug that in right there. So you've got now a wireless capability. So all you need to do is run some power to this puppy and you'll be able to get that set up and on your way. So it's uh, it has a microphone so you'll be able to hear what people are saying. Um, two indicator ports uh, that will light up on network activity and a reset button on the back. Um, this one does not have a built-in internal speaker like the other one, but uh, that's okay. Uh, different usage models. So the other thing this does not have compared to the 600W that we looked at before is any sort of infrared night vision capability. So we'll test it in some low light situations and see how well it does. So um, I'm going to take you and show you how to get this uh, camera set up in terms of software. So here's a brief overview of what's included in the box of the TN80W from Compro. Um, the uh, 5 volt power adapter, a LAN cable, the unit itself we already looked at, An easy start manual, quick start guide, a quick start guide for the Wi Fi dongle, the dongle itself, and an optional installer for PC software. Today I'm going to be looking at the features of Compro's C4 Home. And uh, in order to get us going, I'm going to try what I did before, which is show how easy it is by doing it all in one take, first try. So the first thing I'm going to do is plug in, according to the manual, the power cable and the network cable. Once I've done that, I'm going to open the C4 Home app. You can see the previous TN600 that I had in the previous video. I'm going to click Add Camera. I'm going to scan the QR code on the camera.
now that I've done that, it pulls in the camera's, it looks like it's probably the MAC address. Didn't like that. I'm going to use the eye wizard to see if it finds it. The camera may have not been fully loaded. There we go. I'm now able to select the camera in the C4 Home app. This should provide push notifications that will give instant alerts uh, upon motion detect and uh, also provide cloud storage options. So now that I have it set up and working, um, I can now view whatever this camera is viewing. So you can see that you really have a quick picture um, and also if I turn up the volume on my phone you can hear the echo you can hear the echo there you go so we may get some feedback on that so I'm going to turn down the volume um, but you can see really quick and easy setup with these TN series compro cameras um, and you can tell, hopefully if you've got your uh, video set to 1080p, you can see this is actually producing a really nice image. Um, especially, you know, this is actually probably compressed heavily to, for work on, for, to work on a mobile device. Um, so let's go ahead and see what options we have available to us. Um, I'm going to turn the stream buffer size up to high, maybe see if that does anything. It may just add additional delay. Um, I have to see if there's any, what what features we get with the Compro. Um, you can also take a, a little screenshot, it looks like, right here. So you can uh, take easy snapshots of whatever you're looking at. You know, maybe you want to use that. Uh, to catch someone breaking into your house, if you're using it as a security camera, or just a moment that maybe you're using this to monitor what your dog's doing, um, or something like that. Um, useful feature there. Uh, so let's turn it back this way and, and see what options we can get. Camera settings. You can set a password, enable flip mode, which we're not going to do right now. Um, streaming settings. Uh, you can adjust the codec right there to H.264, 720p, 30 frames per second. This supports 5, 7.5, 10 frames per second, 15 frames, and 30 frames per second. Um, quality right now on this app is 1 megabit per second. That may be different when you actually plug it up to a computer. Um, you can adjust the audio codec between G711 or AAC. Okay. Under the notification settings, you can enable motion detection, enable audio detection, and set up cloud storage, which would integrate with something like Dropbox. Um, that way you can set it to do a motion detect and then upload the image to Dropbox so you could view your camera from essentially anywhere without any app as long as you're on a device that supports Dropbox. So that's pretty nice. Um, you can adjust the levels of sensitivity for both motion detection and audio detection. I'm going to go ahead and enable the motion detection and see what that does. So now that I've done that, I'm going to just turn the app off and see if I actually get an alert when I trigger a motion event. Never tried this before. It may be slightly delayed, so I don't know if this is the best test, but it's a nice first first try for the camera. So that should have triggered some sort of motion event. Um, if I don't get a motion event here, I'll let you know how long it took in the uh, comments later, but I'm assuming it probably works just fine. 
let's go to C4 home map. Okay, there's a camera section and an event section here. So it looks like it was triggering motion events and it was capturing snapshots while I did that. So, um, looks like it's recording both video and some snapshots there. Oh, sorry, that's from that, my older view, but uh, it is recording both of them. Um, so let's go back to camera. Sharing settings. You can enable camera sharing if you have a friend who you would like to be able to view uh, your camera events or just view your camera in general. Um, your friend can sign up for a C4 Home account and you can enable camera sharing and let um, your friend see your camera on their own app. So you can kind of build a network on the C4 Home app of different people and kind of network with, with different webcams, which could be useful for some people. You also have the ability with the C4 Home app to view uh, several different cameras at once. Um, right now we just have the one installed there, but you could monitor up to four at once, which is really nice for a mobile app. I haven't really seen a lot of programs be able to do that. So that's it for the setup. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take some sample screenshots uh, in some low light settings, and we'll go from there. Okay, here's a screenshot uh, taken from the TN80W and 720p resolution. It's uh, pretty easy to see that this is uh, uh, a lot better quality than a, a standard VGA camera is. Um, here's the low light mode. Um, this is actually very dark. Um, so you can tell that it has um, a lot of graininess to it um, and uh, but the color is actually still intact and actually considering how low of light level this is it's actually a, a pretty decent um, level of image quality for the for the level of brightness um, when you look at something like uh, the VGA camera uh, in this next shot, you can see uh, the the image quality is not nearly as good as that 720p. This is using uh, a standard VGA camera. Um, colors are a little bit washed out. The detail is not there quite as clearly. Um, but uh, it this particular camera has uh, an infrared mode for night vision which isn't that great for looking at product packaging but you can see that uh, it makes things plainly visible versus a low light mode so uh, those are kind of the differences in uh, the image quality that you might see so what's my verdict on the compro technologies tn60w well it's a fairly inexpensive camera that provides a great range of features that make it perfect for someone just getting started in network surveillance um, who doesn't want a real poor image quality the 720p really helps make things clear um, and is useful for you know picking out the details if you know you you, you may have a 640 VGA camera pointed at your at your front door and you might not be able to tell exactly who is there at your front door but with the 720p you could clearly make it out um, so the 720p is a great feature for this for an otherwise pretty basic camera um, with plenty of features uh, the best thing about these cameras though is the easy to use software um, it couldn't be easier to really set these things up um, I love the QR code functionality that lets you you know just connect right to the camera um, also Compro provides, like I mentioned in the last video, a wide range of software not just for your phone but like a full suite for monitoring, uh, surveilling across several cameras on your Windows PC 
which is a really great product. I use that all the time. Um, so Compro TN60W, uh, great little device. Um, I would highly recommend it. Thanks for watching another C Butters video review. We'll see you next time.